Now, as we commemorate Women's History Month, we shine a spotlight on the woman regarded as, quote, the mother of Fort Lauderdale. Ivy Stranahan championed the rights of women and South Florida Indians and advocated for the environment. And that was just the tip of the iceberg of this community leader. CBS 4's Hank Tester has her story. John Della Serra Jr. can tell you all about Ivy Stranahan. He knew her well, worked for her, and continues to this day as a tour guide and the maintenance person at Fort Lauderdale's Stranahan House, which, by the way, is the oldest remaining building in Broward County, built in 1901. She was an amazing person and really the mother of the city. So many things that she uh, organized. 18-year-old Ivy Cromarty was hired to teach in a schoolhouse built by the locals. She met Frank Stranahan, who was managing a camp and ferry business at Tarpon Bend on the New River. Trading with the Seminole Indians became the economic backbone of the business. Married in August of 1900, Ivy gave up teaching, but quickly became involved in the budding but remote settlement that was to become Fort Lauderdale. She was constantly involved with education, ecology, women's rights, and Seminoles. Through the years, Ivy Stranahan served on Fort Lauderdale's Planning and Zoning Committee, in Tallahassee lobbied for the Homestead Exemption Law, founded Broward County's Red Cross chapter, the Campfire Girls, the Audubon Society, Women's Club, established the powerful Friends of the Seminoles, solidifying her longtime devotion to the cause of the area's Indian population. She was uh, constantly trying to improve the life of uh, everybody here, um, blacks and Seminoles, and a lot of things she was doing there on both fronts weren't very popular with a lot of people and that didn't deter. With all the accomplishments and involvement, there was tragedy and hardship. Frank Stranahan, the one-time postmaster, took his life drowning in the New River in front of the magnificent home he'd built first as a trading post, later a home, which today is a museum dedicated to Ivy Stranahan and where John Della Serra remembers a determined woman who leased out part of the home to a restaurant to make ends meet. I always think that uh, when I'm telling stories to people walking around the property that uh, Ivy's going to tap me on the shoulder and say, John, I, you've been standing here for 30 minutes. I haven't seen you do a lick of work yet, so get busy. Ivy, through the years, stayed in the historic home until her death, August 30th, 1971, at the age of 90. Ivy Stranahan, a pioneer woman from a pioneer era, still having an impact on issues that face South Florida today. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News. Great history lesson. Now at